All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. Uh, in the last episode, we got a bunch of coconuts, and I think we finished our boat. Maybe that was an episode before. I don't remember. Why am I picking that up? We don't need to pick that up. Let's just eat it. Let's eat all the coconuts. I'm going to turn the you up. That sounds better. Okay. Let's get all of the coconuts. drink them all now. Wait, no, we still need to drink that one. Okay, there goes our drinky drink coconuts. Yeah, stuff. Smash them all in the house. Wait, that doesn't mean we, that means we don't have very long left to live. We gotta eat these coconuts, damn it. That's all we got? Okay. You know what, that's good for food. That's good, I'll take it. So let's take a compass, and we're gonna head out. Hey Steve, I almost forgot to say hi to Steve. Man, he, he would feel so so left out if we forgot him, because Steve is just, he's, he, he acts all tough, but he's really just, he's a, such a sensitive shark, you know? We're going to that island now. Maybe we'll go to that one. I know, I know we haven't been to that one for a fact. So that one's at 340 degrees, so that means that home would be at about 170. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, I'll skip this travel, and uh, I'll see you at that island. Bon voyage. dive over there, and we're going for it. Oh, give me morphine, give me morphine, give me morphine. A water bottle, you know what, that's not even great. An engine, that's not even great. A locker, paddle, come on, that's literally the worst. Flare gun. Great. Wanted another one of those. Buck. Buck! Well, 
it appears that Buck has died. Oh, there's a plane! Wow. So, I'm going to start over, I guess. At least this gives us um, some more goals that we have to get to finish this game to really, like, know that we've done this and we've done all we can do. So, our goals to shoot some flares up into the sky to get, like, a bunch of flare guns, like, at least five, and shoot them all into the sky. Not all at once, just spread them out so we can get rescued. Um, start up, like, a nice base. Like, not, like, a base, like, a home. Like, we need, we need, like, hmm. there's a base and there's a home, and I want a home. Like, we can't, we can't do this anymore. That house we had wasn't good enough. There wasn't room for Carl and Steve, which brings me to my next point. Carl and Steve, we need to get, uh, we need to get some guys like that. And a label maker, so we can name them. Because, well, those guys were there for us when we needed our support. Got a flashlight already. That's actually really good. Okay, well, uh, so we gotta kill Rudy. We have to set up a home base. We have to get Steve and Carl. And we have to get flares. And hopefully get rescued. So, I think you can plant these potatoes, so I'm probably going to make a farm. And they're not picky on where they grow, apparently, so I'm going to go there. 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 And there. And that looks like, I mean, I'm just going to leave them there. They might just not do anything, but, you know, they might, uh... They might grow into plants because it didn't look like they grew back before, but I know the yuccas do, but that's because you leave the plant. Hey, could you be my new Steve? Let's do it. Get much of a fight. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Not one bit. Oh, stay away from those. Those are going to poison us again, and we don't need to get poisoned. I guess that's another thing that we need to do. Get the ailments off of us. By that I mean, if we get poisoned or we break an arm, let's have some morphine or some antibiotics lying around so we can fix it ourselves and not have to wait around until we die again. Because both of those injuries were fairly avoidable. Oh, a diver slate. Oh, I found that one before, actually. I don't know if there are more than that one, but uh, I've seen that one before, so... Eh, forget it. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the potatoes there. We're going to go around scavenging for all the stuff that's just sort of loosely placed around the island, and I did not check this if it had a case. It does. A compass. Excellent. I do not want to go adventuring without that. And, uh, yeah, another thing. I'm going to go to every island around here that you see, and I'm going to put arrows pointing to home. Um, I'm going to put the rocks over here. Just there. That's one thing I wish the developers would kind of recognize. Like, they've been pretty good with adding in things people have been requesting, and I don't know if anybody's watching. I mean, I don't even have an audience to be watching this, but if if anybody out there has any control over this game, or you want to go message a developer, then just tell them, put in a way that you can, like, draw arrows into the sand that won't go away, or you can, like, make lashings so you can create your own, like, little rope things that won't go away. So you can, like, crush berries or something that you find, and, I don't know. Just an idea. So it's easier for you to find home. Uh, I think that's a pretty good idea. Have we been to this one? We might have been. Uh, I think we have. Yeah, we have. Oh, I feel stupid. Okay. Well, it appears that we've explored all the islands, so we're just going to go get this yucca. Over here. lashings. Another rock over here, that's good. Um, this is pretty dense shrubbery, so I don't know if we'll be able to see anything if it's even in there. So, another stick. 
Another rock. Man, I miss Steve. I wish that shark... I, I guarantee you, that thing was like two hits away from dying. I don't know how much damage the knife does, but I think that the... Um, I think that the... Tiger sharks have about 200 health, and the great whites, Rudy, has 350. Maybe if I plant one in there, it'll grow. And one, two. I don't know how much the knives do damage. I'll probably find that later on, so I know. For future reference. Well, uh... We got a compass, so that's a start. And I want to organize everything. So I'm going to have like a pile for sticks. I'm going to have a pile for, you know, rocks. I'm going to have a pile for tools. I'm going to have a pile for food. I'm going to have a campfire. Okay, so the rocks are going to go here. Travel tools. So that's like that, and I guess the paddle. We can leave the paddle in the raft. Uh, food. Lashings. So, if we're gonna start, we're probably gonna be cutting down the tree, so let's take one rock, a lashing, and a stick, and I think that's all you need. Yeah, there you go. An axe. I'm gonna cut down all the trees, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, let's first decide where we're going to set up our house. I want some room for expansion. Because right now I'm just going to leave it open. So, maybe if we put it right over here. That could look pretty nice. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right here. So that, wait, sun sets. What time is it? 12, midday. So we have really no reference point for where the sun's going to be setting. I guess I'll probably just talk over this part and then I'll edit the part after this out. So when we finally know which way our door is going to be, where is it going to be. Ah, there's a coconut and another coconut. I don't feel bad about eating these ones because none of them are Steve yet because we haven't found our name tag maker, label maker, that's what it is. Yeah. We haven't got that yet, so as soon as we do, I will make a, uh, uh, no, Carl, I will make a Carl. And then if we, you know, get a Steve by any chance, I'll make that too. But tiger sharks are surprisingly hard to kill now. I wish I had like a be-all, end-all weapon that's like, you can find it in a shipwreck, like the Excalibur, just like, jump into the ocean and impale the shark and one hit kill it. That'd be the greatest thing ever. Really not looking forward to destroying my CPU again with, uh, sticks. Hmm. Okay. So we got those, and it looks like the sun's going to be setting that way. So, morning would be that way. So, I think in... I think we're going to have our entrance to be... Eh, whatever. I'm going to leave it open for now. Okay, I'm going to edit this part out. I'll see you guys back when the house is finished. Or when I've gathered all the materials, at least. Alright, welcome back. Well, um... <laughs> the stick pile monster is back. Yay. Gotta love that lag. Oh, it's bad. I've only cut down, like, not that many trees, actually. I've got this one. I'll get that one later, but for now... We're just gonna build our four foundations, I guess. Is that a potato plant starting? Well, I don't want to cut the head off of that one, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Go here. And I'm gonna go here. And I'm going to build supports, so I don't know how many supports we're going to need, but it's probably going to be a lot. Maybe it'd be worth building a bed first. Yeah, I think I'm going to build a bed right now. I'm not sure how many lashings or sticks we're going to need for that. Okay, campfire. That's not super high on the list of priorities right now. It's going to be dark soon, so I'm going to get a bed. That means I'm going to need to cut down one more tree. Do we have any logs just lying around, or do we have to cut down a whole tree? Yeah, we have to cut down a whole tree, so we'll cut down this one. I'm just sort of clearing out the desert area. I know... I actually looked on the wiki, and the desert area... I don't know. It doesn't seem that big, because over there is kind of a more forested area. This one seems like it's kind of more sand. And it said that the 
Tiger sharks have a higher chance of spawning in the sand area, so... Hey! What a great spawn. Alright, well, we're just gonna get these sticks and then we're gonna build a bed. Because so we don't need a roof yet. Roofs are a luxury that we do not deserve just yet. We haven't earned it. Hopefully the potato plants will grow. I don't know if you can actually farm those. But if you can, I'm gonna just get a ton of potato plants and just put them everywhere. Cause water is pretty easy to come across. I mean, you can just get a bucket and then you're set. Essentially. But potatoes, you know, those are those are tough to come by. And tough to chew on, I guess. Pretty starchy. Okay, so I'm gonna get the rest of our lashings and turn our flash on. It's it's still creepy. Yeah, it's still creepy. Do we have any more lashings? Ah, oh, they're over here. Okay. I don't know. That should be enough for bed. I mean I would think it would be. How are our vitals? Wait, no, that's the wrong button. There you go. Okay. I'm surprised. After coming off that last game, <laughs> so much easier. I haven't eaten anything yet. Oops, I went I meant to drag it, but I guess we'll sleep. I forgot to do the outro, but um yeah, I mean, maybe we'll just set up the uh bit of the house first. This might be a longer episode. Okay. So we'll just sticks in a position we're gonna put some supports in okay we'll just snap that in and move these fronds out of the way in the mean in the downtime between episodes I'll cut down some more trees and then I will gather up all the sticks and we'll start building our house bigger but uh, yeah thanks for watching if you like the video like comment and subscribe show your support and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next episode of stranded deep Peace.